In this episode of the Mockatorium, we're learning how to build a simple gearbox so that you can throw this in the trash. Gear functions are one of the most iconic elements of Bionicle. From the Toa Mata to the 2016 Toei Uniters, play features have been a staple of our favorite toy line. But what happens if you don't have one of these specialized parts? Or what if you don't like the aesthetic of a giant backpack sitting at the back of your figure? Today, we're gonna to be building this basic gearbox, which allows our character's arms to swing back and forth opposite one another. Here's that same gearbox with a bit more color to make it pop. This build is comprised of just 18 pieces, only seven more than the official CCBS gearbox. Let's get started with the build. So that's it, we've got one custom gearbox. While both builds look virtually identical from the front, the real magic comes when viewing them from the side. As you can see, our custom build pulls the shoulder joints forward one stud length, creating a stature much more in line with human anatomy. While this gearbox is done, there's still so much we can do to customize it to your needs. This current build is a near frictionless design. If your character needs more strength, the simplest solution is to replace this three long axle with a four long with an eight tooth gear. Then in the stud hole below, add a Technic axle pin with a second gear to generate resistance. Ensure that this axle pin is the frictioned blue variety and not the frictionless tan version. Adding this to either or both sides can increase or decrease friction. This variant works wonders if you want a figure with broad shoulders, but what if you preferred the more narrow design. Reverting back to the original build, remove the middle portion of the assembly, taking out the four long axle and replacing it with this six long variant. Thread the axle through the chest here, remove the two black pins from the blue beam and then put the pieces back on. On this newly exposed axle, add an eight tooth gear and then up to two additional friction axle pins with gears below. If you only want the action feature on one arm, there's a solution for you as well. Remove the sub assembly of the arm you wish to disconnect from the system. Take off the gear knob and remove the axle. Connect a too long Technic beam through the pinhole with a pin. Slide the axle and ball joint through the new axle hole. Now the system only moves with a single arm. If you don't have the demonstrated swivel torso piece, you still have options. This build works on the T-shaped torso variant or with a bit of finesse, any five long Technic beam with axle holes. As you can see, the design possibilities are limitless when creating your own gearbox. If you want to see a variant of this gearbox in action, check out this video on Warden Karakor. Until next time, thanks for watching. 